Hey everyone, so today I wanted to share with you all my Google Calendar setup and how I'm organizing my life with Google Calendar. I recently shared on Instagram that I am setting up my Google Calendar and some of you reached out and said that you're also interested in setting up your Google Calendar. So I'm going to be sharing my screen and I'm going to be showing you all how I started setting it up. And this is just basic setups, basic tips and tricks. So if you're completely new to Google Calendar, um, I hope this helps you out and if you have any other questions leave them down below in the comment section so the first thing that I wanted to show you all is my calendar so as you can see this is my calendar this is for next week and the first tip or trick is to create different calendars so for example you can see here on the side that I have a my calendar which is Brenda Michelle then I, we have birthdays which is a default Google Calendar um, that I don't have it um, selected but you can have it selected if you unselect it then it doesn't show up on the calendar of course and then I have my content creation I have editing which would be um, when I'm editing either content for Instagram or YouTube and then I am a mom so I have a calendar for my kids then I have here reminders and then we have studying and then tasks and that's for my job work so you can choose here any colors you like um, so if you do want to create a new calendar you can just go here to other calendars and create a new calendar and then you can just put here the name of the calendar and you can put here a description. You don't have to put a description. You can even change the time zone. So if you, for example, if you work remotely and you work for a separate company, then you can also add that as well. I'm not going to create a calendar, but um, you can do that there. And the cool thing about Google Calendar that I fell in love with is that you can color code it. I'm a visual person, so that was a game changer. So the way you do that is you go here and you can choose from the colors that they have already. Or what I did is I went on Pinterest and I just looked up different color palettes. I like a more pastel, earthy colors. Um, so that's what I looked up, but you can look up whatever colors you like and then you can just click on the plus sign and you can add the hex code and you can always change that. And so these are the colors that I chose. And as you can see, these are time blocks. So I created different time blocks. So for example, this is my morning routine. I usually wake up at 530 and from 5 30 to 8 30 a.m that's my morning routine so i'm getting myself ready getting my kids ready and so on and so forth and then i work from 8 30 to 12 15 so i put that there i have a separate calendar for work which is not through google so i don't really ever put anything there anything here in google for work um and then I planned in my break. So once I finish work, I like, like to take at least a 30 minute break, drink some tea, eat something. And then I get into what I do for YouTube, for coding, for studying or creating content. So what I did here was I have a block for content creation. So I have this time block and what you can do is create tasks so for example let's say next week so you would go here and create a task let's say next week i need to create a youtube video so what we can do is we can add emojis and i like using emojis because it makes it a lot more visual um then i can just put youtube video and what you can do if you use Notion, you can add here a link for um, your Notion content calendar or if, if you, um, um, what is it called, if you plan your content on Notion, you can add a link here and then it's easy to reach or what you can do is you can just write, for example, what video you're filming or whatever content you're creating. So for example, let's say I'm... Um, well, I am going to be creating um, Integrate Google Calendar, if I can spell it correctly, Calendar with Notion. 
and then you can choose here the date so for example i'm going to be doing that on the 29th and then i'm going to be doing that in this time block so i can just say yeah i'm going to do it at two and there it is so that task is going to be done there of course if you don't do it you can always just move it but the cool thing is that you can go here to your tasks and let's say you've done that already you cross that out and it's crossed out so you can see there it's crossed out means you've you've done it so it's good and again that's visual so that motivates you right like okay i did that already and of course it's gone now <laughs> from my ta tasks but you can just mark it as uncompleted so that's another thing what i really like about that is that you can create your time blocks so you have like okay from for example myself from 1 30 to 3 30 every um, monday and friday i'm going to be creating content and then let's say um and then you can use the tasks to be more specific as to what you're actually doing and that that's just like i love how visual that is and i love how you can just move that around Another thing that I really liked about Google Calendar is that you can add labels for each specific day. So for example, let's say um, for myself, I want to be creating content every Monday and Wednesday and Friday or every Monday and Wednesday. You can click here at the top and you can add a label for a specific day. So for example, let's say every Sunday I want to <laughs> relax. <laughs> You can again add emojis i like using emojis you don't have to but i do and what can we add i'm just gonna add a flower just because and then you can choose what calendar do you want to save it for so you can um so that this would apply apply it to that calendar so if you have that calendar out means it's not displayed then it won't display that but usually i just add it to my overarching calendar and then you can choose here a different color that you like the thing about the labels for the days you can add a custom color but they have some pretty decent ones and then what you can do is you can do here you can repeat it so go to custom and we can repeat this every sunday until so for example let's say we want to relax every sunday until january 1st because on january 1st you know we're gonna get to work <laughs> so let's just say that so now you have that label every sunday so now if you go to other weeks it's there And the way that I'm going to delete this because, yeah. <laughs> but the way that I did it is that I added, so for example, every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to be creating content. So I have that here and I have that here, this label and this label. So I know those days, you know, I have to be ready. I have to be in the right mindset to get to creating content. And then Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, I'm just going to be on my computer. I'm going to be editing or pretty much anything that doesn't involve me being in front of a camera or being like on and ready to like just get, you know, get to work. So those are going to be more chill days and just creating that time block, creating that label and that structure is like really going to help me and can help you also organize your life so that you're not feeling so scatterbrained every day and like oh i have this long list list of things that i need to get done how am i going to do it where am i going to do it like some days i feel like i have so much on my list and i just end up getting nothing done at all so my hope is that doing this it's really going to help me actually get more done and then you can add as many labels as you want. As you see here, I have an overarching label. So this one is a late and early label. This is just about work. is is not really related to anything else. Um, and that is it. Those are like the main things that I really like about Google Calendar. I I mostly like that it's so visual. I love that you can customize it. 
I love that there are, honestly, there are like so many possibilities of what you can do. I mean, you can have like a hundred calendars. I'm not going to do that because that's going to be really overwhelming. I think even if you just set up, like if you just have a basic setup, it could really help you, really help you organize your life. I've seen other people on YouTube or other um, content creators talk about Google Calendar and how they have like, I don't know, 20 calendars and all of this extra stuff. Honestly, I feel like that's it's not necessary if you just have a basic setup then it could really help you um to organize your life and just get things together so for my next video i'm going to show you all how to integrate your google calendar into notion um so if you do use notion as you all know i use notion i love notion so i'm going to be also integrating my google calendar into my notion um personal plan personal home page on my notion so in my next video i'm going to show you all how to do that so do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you all in my next video bye